Hi, it's Eric and Sarah here, coming at you from underneath Sarah's desk. Today we'll be doing a what we eat in a day, which will feature some Mexican vegan comfort food. So if you're on a diet, this video might not be for you. But if you aren't on a diet, well, just let the magic unfold right before your eyes. Oh! oh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ow. <laughs> what is this? First on our agenda today is breakfast burritos. This is the perfect breakfast for those of you who love savory foods in the morning, which is definitely a category I fall under. So first, we're going to make some diced potatoes. I set the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And now it is time to add some oil and spices. Please excuse our ugly baking dish, but then you just need to pour out your diced potatoes on the dish, arrange them so they are spread evenly, and then we will just pop these bad boys in the oven for about 30 minutes, flipping them halfway through. Ah! So Sarah, what are we putting in this burrito? Well, in addition to the potatoes, we're adding a tofu scramble. And if you would like our base recipe, we actually made this in our first What We Eat In A Day video, which we'll link somewhere above. Um, but today we're doing a slight variation, which includes green onions, which honestly we always have. We're trying out a different tofu today because they are all out of our normal one. And then we're also adding black beans and some light life sausage. Well, we sort of underestimated the size of our tortillas, so these are more like breakfast tacos rather than breakfast burritos, but I'm not complaining. Me either. Mmm. Oh yeah. The wow, crunch. that's really good. I don't know about you, but I think this is one of the best ways to start out a morning breakfast tacos, especially ones as good as this. For lunch, we are making quesadillas, but not just any quesadillas, buffalo chickpea quesadillas. As made famous by Rainbow Plant Life, uh, you should check her out, she's uh, pretty dope. I'm gonna start off by making the buffalo sauce, so it's time to melt some butter. Hi Eric, what are you doing now? I'm going to uh, mash some chickpeas, but unfortunately, we don't have a food processor. I'm gonna have to do this all by hand, which if you've ever mashed chickpeas by hand before, you know that it's a lot of fun. And by fun, I mean absolute misery. <laughs> but while I am mashing the chickpeas vigorously, uh, Sarah here will be focusing on the cheese. It's my specialty. So for this cheese sauce, we're actually not using the nacho cheese recipe in the Rainbow Plant Life video. I'm using a simpler version because cashews are expensive. I will link that base recipe down below. I will actually be doubling the recipe because we will be using this for our meal later today. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty thick. Tusi. So the cheese sauce is made, but typically we use it on mac and cheese, so it's not super spicy. So to make it more of a nacho cheese, I'm going to blend it with these diced tomatoes and chilies. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping it turns out well. But either way, you'll be along for the ride. 
Eu. The tomatoes and chilies were definitely a good addition. Makes the sauce a lot more naturally. But because I, I didn't drain the can beforehand, so it lost some of its thickness. So while Eric is finishing the rest of the meal, I'm going to re-add this to a pan with some more flour to thicken it up. I have to chop up some, some veggies. They make me cry. Okay, so my tears have finally dried up, and so now it's time to prepare the quesadillas. So we have finished the quesadillas. It was a messy process, but I think that it was worth it. They put in some sour cream here, and look at that. Mm. Pretty good. Ready? Ready? Cheers. Oh yeah. Ooh, and it's spicy, but no. I can handle it, which yeah. says a lot. <laughs> These are the best quesadillas I've ever had. <laughs> Sorry, mom. It is late afternoon and we're having a bit of a snack slash second breakfast. We have some bagels that we got on sale from the store. Eric likes strawberry jam on his and I just go with plain butter. If you didn't just hear, Sarah pronounces bagel as bagel, which I believe is a Canadian thing. But the problem is Sarah, Sarah is not from Canada, so I don't know what the hell is going on. So let us know down below in the comment section, what's the correct pronunciation? Is it bagel or bagel? Here we are, we're on our last meal of the day, and I don't think it would be a Mexican inspired day of meals unless we had... Nachos! Um, we'll be making pretty normal nachos, but our special ingredient here, I guess you could say, is lentils. We will be using lentils to make our taco meat. And yeah, we'll show you how it turns out. Let's get to it. For the lentils, you'll just cook them according to the package directions. I'm going to use a cup of dry lentils, but you might want to cook them a little bit longer if you're following along because I want these lentils to be a little bit extra soft so I can mush them up. All right, Sarah, you're on. And. I'm also going to add a couple of teaspoons of our favorite bouillon to the lentils for some extra flavor. Lentils are looking good, and the only other topping we really need to cook, I guess, are some refried beans. So we're just going to, oh, we're gonna plop this. Ew! Hit it. Fast. No, no oh. <laughs> to finish up the lentils, they're pretty good as they are with the bouillon, but I'm going to spice them up a little with taco type seasonings, chili powder, smoked paprika, if you can't tell we really like that around here, cumin, onion powder, pepper. I'm going to take a potato masher and mash them up so they're, they're still pieces, but it's also kind of mushy. Some other key ingredients that we'll be using with the nachos are salsa, Lime, avocado, got the old reliable tofuti sour cream. Lastly, we'll be using the same cheese that we use for the quesadillas. And we'll also be adding some green onion on top. Here is the finished product, guys. This is amazing. I wish you could smell it. I wish you could be here to enjoy this uh, masterpiece with us. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we'll just have to eat it all ourselves, so, I mean, it's a shame. Yeah, man. we feel really guilty about yeah. doing it. There's too much to choose from. What do, what, what do you, where do you even begin with something like this? I know, and the best part is since we already made the cheese earlier today, all we really had to make was the lentils and everything else was super easy. Honestly, out of all the three meals we've made today, I don't know which one's our favorite. They've all been really, really good. Now, uh, excuse us while we devour the rest of these nachos. So Sarah is actually having some dessert which will be featured in our next video. So if you want to find out what she's having, then tune in next week. So we don't normally cook three meals in one day, but we did want to this time just so we could show you how to make all of these meals so you can make them for yourself at home. If you do make one or all, definitely let us know. Otherwise, we hope you enjoyed and we will see you next week.